Hi, my name is Mats Küssner and I'm a PhD student in the music department at King's College London. My PhD is about the notion of shape or shaping which is widely used among musicians when they talk or think about music. Shape can be applied to many things, for example the musical score, the expressive gestures of the performer, and most importantly the musical sound by changing the articulation, phrasing, dynamics and so forth. My own approach to music and shape takes yet another perspective as I am particularly interested in visualizations of sound. This approach can tell us which sound characteristics are most salient to listeners and what strategies they use to represent them. Essentially, visualizations of sound can give us a valuable insight into how people perceive and process sounds. For example, Walker tested all sorts of participants by presenting them with pure tones and asking them to match the sounds with visual metaphors. Walker found that people tend to associate pitch with vertical space, waveform with pattern, loudness with size, and duration with horizontal space. In my own experiment, I presented musicians and non-musicians with pure tones varying in pitch, loudness, and tempo. I simply asked them to draw along with the sounds as they were played, and I recorded their drawings with a graphics tablet. As expected, the majority of musicians and non-musicians reported that they represented pitch with the height and loudness with the thickness of the line. I then wanted to know how well they really performed and correlated the sound with the drawing characteristics. On the next slide you are going to see two example videos. Please compare the non-musician on the left with the musician on the right and pay attention to the thickness of the line in response to the loudness. Overall, the group of musicians was much more accurate in representing both loudness and pitch. But this is only one of many ways to analyze my data, and I am convinced that my experiments will, on the one hand, shed light on areas of music cognition which are currently still under-researched, and, on the other hand, help performers to understand their audiences better. Thank you very much.